Wait, so you're you really trying to leave me? Wait, you I thought you had a good time, my girl. I, I did have. A, I had a great time. I thought we that wasn't the thing. Too, but we didn't like. That ain't the thing. You got to hear me out. That ain't the thing. I'm saying like I. I just wanted to come. I know dude from social media, so I thought we was gonna come and, you know, I was gonna try a couple appetizers and stuff. But after you ordered the steak, I figured you was really into me. If you know what I'm saying. Um, no, well, we're at this place where they have nah, man, you don't amazing, get it, man. They have you don't these amazing get it. steaks. I mean, Why who do you, you think I am, Big Meech? You think I'm Big Meech? Do you know well, what would you bring me here then? What do you mean? You recommended this. Why would I bring? Why would you bring me here? I said I wanted to go on a date. We could have walked around, hold hands on South Beach or something. You know what I'm saying? I could have got you a rose or something. Some simple. Don't make me feel bad about. No, about no, no, no. Make me feel bad. How am I making you feel bad? Because I'm just saying. You're maybe safe. we can go. So the video I made about not hitting men in the nuts because it wasn't funny got taken down for harassment and bullying. And I'm gonna be careful because I don't want this taken down. But I just think it's so crazy how TikTok lets a video of a woman hitting a man in a sensitive place up even though they're laughing about his pain. But a video of me educating other people not to do that because it actually hurts and can cause a lot of problems and that you shouldn't hit them in the nuts just for fun is getting taken down. I'm just saying. To the incels who said it would be way hotter if I lost like five pounds. Yeah, you're literally right. But I don't remember asking for a stinky man's opinion. So go to war and die already. That's all you're good for. When you're like, it's the hairy armpits for me. You're so observant. But I also have stomach hair, back hair, arm hair, and leg hair. And you're probably just as hairy as me, but you've been removing it since sixth grade. Like you, I could remove my hair at a moment's notice, but it's actually you who needs to change, not me. And bad news, it might take years to fix that unattractive judgmental personality. But hey, good luck. Curved you, I'm winning. You sad, I'm chilling. Making money, that's the goal. You stick your dick in any hole. I guess your smurf cute. But she ain't me though. Yeah. Somebody come look at this. Somebody come and look at this. 748 matches. Look at it. Look at it. All different types. Shades, blacks, whites, light skins, dark skins, all of the all of the skins. Can somebody explain to me what's going on? 748. And these are just the matches. Hold on. There's more. Wait. Here are all of the other people that have liked me. Scroll, sis, scroll. Blacks, whites, Latino, Ariba, Ariba, everything. Why am I still single? Somebody help. Anybody? Somebody. Men be so quick to say, oh, I hit that. She's easy. But so are you. And see the difference between you and me is that you had to smoke me out, wine and dine me, basically kiss my ass. And all I had to do was show up and you gave it away. We're not the same. He loved me, he gave me all his money. He my sugar daddy. He loved me, he gave me all his money. Bro, if you're chilling with your girl and she gets a FaceTime call from her homegirls and the first thing she does is turn the camera to you, it's not her showing off what a king you are, bro. It's her warning her homegirls to not talk about the other guy she's seeing. She has dreams to be an envy so she All I'm saying is, is that if she is independent and she pays her own bills and she takes care of herself and she can cook and she is doing her own damn laundry and she is looking good and staying hydrated and being her very best self, she is one step away from having a literal nervous breakdown. 
have officially decided I will no longer be dating good looking men or pursuing good looking men. They're just disappointing. Give me a, um, an average looking guy with a dad bod and a great personality and I'm sold. Sis, listen, I know there are times that we make mistakes with our coochies. Don't worry, you're not alone. All you need to do is reset that kitty, reprogram that coochie, clear your coochie cachet. You have to remember that you are the master of your domain. You are the queen of your motherfucking castle. And also remember that if it didn't feel good, it doesn't fucking count. Fuck I look like, I'm not adding that to my body count. Get the fuck out of here. What I look like when my husband met me. Hi, Dan. I just moved in next door. I'm a supermodel. Versus. I don't care today. who the IRS sends. I am not paying taxes. Okay, so I don't cook, like, at all. But I'm going to try because my husband's working. And otherwise, they don't eat. Someone just told me I'm supposed to wash it. Cool. I think I'm supposed to take, like, the white stuff off. Worst case scenario, they dip it in ranch. All right, but now I realize that we need sides, so. It's so dirty. Do I have to wash broccoli? <laughs> Guys, uh, this is why I don't, this does not look right. Is that bad broccoli? I'm making dinner. No, I know. I'm... That's like not done, like at all. Like at all. What? What? Well, now what? My bow. What? Now, it's been a couple of days now. Mm -hmm. You don't have them during Christmas, all that shit. I ain't caught them up with the police. Mm -hmm. Can you bring back my motherfucking child? Listen, I appreciate that, but I got my youngest son here and they spend the time together. It's winter break, like he's not ready to go home. Your youngest son? Yes. Your, fuck your youngest son. Fuck my that was the same motherfucker. She got me fucked up. Don't disrespect me on me, bye. Listen, don't fucking disrespect my son. Like, first you. Had you had a baby, do have a baby on me, but with that fucking picture, then you. That was years ago. Child. Don't fucking disrespect my son. They spend the time together. I don't give a child. I don't give a fuck. I ain't bringing, bringing shit child. back. No. He want to stay with me. They spend the time together. As a matter of fact, you ain't going to know where the fuck we at. Like, we, I'm about to fucking go. Yes, I'm about to fucking go. I ain't bringing shit back. Call the police. I don't care. You just disrespecting my son. You treating our son wrong. And now you disrespecting my youngest son. You got me fucked up, man. Dog, I don't give a fuck. Bring my child, dog. And then I'm my firstborn with my ex. And I've been in court for almost six years now. And I live across the field, never been charged with any kind of drug problems, and I've never been charged at all. I don't have any violence against me, nothing like that. I live close by. My uh, stepchild goes to the same school as my biological one, and I can't get 50-50 if my life depended on Why am I allowed and able to raise another child or other children 100% of the time, but I can't even raise my own 50%?